For cheap and safe coins, go check the link in the description and use Crassy for a cool discount. And if you wanna buy cheap game codes and prepaid PSN and Xbox cards, G2A is also down below. How's it going, guys? My name is Crassy and you're watching a special. FIFA 17 video on the best new features that EA are going to implement into the game. They are going to add new skill modes, new attacking techniques, a new game mode and today I am going to give you a little bit more information on the best new features. We are gonna kick things off with the skill modes. As far as I know EA are going to add at least 3 new skill modes to FIFA 17. I guess some of you have already seen one of them in one of the trailers, I am talking about the new fake pass exit which will be a 4 star skill move and in my opinion fellas it will not only be a beautiful skill but also it will be a very good move for getting past defenders. The next one is going to be the Okocha flick. From what I know it is a 5 star skill move which looks really awesome but I am not pretty sure if it will be useful in one on one situations with defenders. The Blasi flick from FIFA 16 is also a very beautiful move but it's kinda useless and it is really hard to beat the opposition using it. The next one is called the Neymar step over exit and it has a few variations. So I'm not sure which one is going to be implemented into FIFA 17 however there is one sure thing fellas and it is by far the fact that it is going to be a 5 star move. So guys these are pretty much the new skill moves in FIFA 17. We've got 3 skill moves in FIFA 16, we're gonna get 3 more in FIFA 17 and maybe a few more, who knows. But anyways guys let's move on to the next new feature of FIFA 17, the downwards headers. It is something that we couldn't perform so far in FIFA, however in FIFA 17 we will be able to direct the header into the bottom corners which is in my opinion a great new feature especially if the crosses in FIFA 17 are OP. Another amazing feature is going to be the new way of executing free kicks. In FIFA 17 you will be able to switch to any of your teammates using the right analog in a free kick situation which will allow you to drag your player to the penalty box in case your opponent puts a player on the goal line. Therefore your opponent will face a difficult situation. If he doesn't let go of the player on the goal line you will be able to supply the teammate in the box with a pass and score the goal afterwards. This new feature will solve all of our problems regarding covering the empty side of the goal in a free kick situation. Another great feature is the new cursor related to the corner kicks. You know folks in FIFA 16 I don't use direct corner kicks because they are pretty random however in FIFA 17 that cursor will help you direct your corner kick easier. We had such a cursor in FIFA 03 I am not quite sure how exactly it will work work in 17 but we're gonna find it out in a few months. The next new feature is related to the penalty kicks. In FIFA 17 you will be able to control the speed of the player before kicking the ball, it is something that looks really awesome in real football so once we get it in FIFA 17 it will help you trick the keeper from the spot. So let's move on to the driven finish, well to be honest with you fellas I don't think that they are going to add a new special button related to that new technique, simply because when you use a finesse shot you press an extra button and if you have to press one more button for the special driven finish well this is gonna be too complicated. In my opinion the driven finish is going to be similar to the ground shots from FIFA 15. You know in FIFA 15 using ground shots was the most effective way of scoring goals against the keeper so I am really looking forward to this new feature. So let's go on with the threatened through pass. I am not quite sure fellas if it's gonna be a new passing technique. In my opinion they are just going to improve the laptop through passes from FIFA 16. Let's talk a bit about the new driven goal kick pass. I don't think that it is a new feature as we have a similar pass in FIFA 16. You just need to load 4 bars of power using a short pass and your keeper will execute a powerful pass. Last but not least I wanna mention the new pushback technique which will allow allow you to take possession easier while you are under pressure from the opponent behind you. You will be able to protect the ball therefore you won't let the opponent intercept the upcoming passes. It is something that you cannot do with the pace control button in FIFA 16. Well guys we are gonna put an end to today's video with 
the new special game mode that EA are going to implement into FIFA 17. In short, the journey. You basically start a career mode with a certain player, you cannot customize him, you play offline matches, you increase his attributes, you can do some other stuff using him apart from the matches. Well, you cannot kill people like in GTA but it's a new feature and I'm sure that everyone will give it a go including myself. So guys, this is gonna be the end of today's FIFA 17 video. Drop me a comment below, let me know which is the new feature that you like most. Besides all of these new features, FIFA 17 is going to have a new gameplay engine, so I'm really looking forward to playing it, moreover I cannot wait to provide you guys with some quality FIFA 17 tutorials. But anyways guys, thanks for watching, subscribe if you're new and I will catch you later. Bye bye!